Hi, Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show. Hey, hey, hey. How are you guys? We're going to give it just a second or two. Um, I had the mute on. So yes, we're live, people. <laughs> so come on in. Welcome, welcome. Um, we're going to let the audience build just a second or two. Um, as you guys come in, you guys know the drill. Leave us a comment. Say hi so that uh, I don't feel like I'm in this room talking to myself. Um, it's always, it's always nice to make sure that people are in here with me. So say hello that you're here, you're watching. Um, although, and also in those comments today, um, one lucky viewer who, um, we have kind of a little contest towards the end of our streams, uh, and one lucky viewer will win um, a really cool prize that's being donated by our special guest today. So uh, you're going to want to hang in to the end of the stream just to make sure that you take part in the fun contest. Um, yesterday, if you guys were watching, was hilarious. We had our very first ever virtual tie in our contest. So uh, two lucky winners won yesterday. So it, it can happen. And yes, hi, Karen. I am wearing my pink. Pink is on point. Wednesdays, we wear pink. <laughs> uh, so as you guys come in, I see little faces popping in here. Comment. Let us know that you're here with us. Um, if you guys want to see the list of businesses that we are highlighting and showcasing each day on these videos, um, you can go over to the Longmont Chamber website to see the themed industry list that we have uh, blocked out for you. And that address is uh, longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And you can click on there's uh, different categories and industries that we are highlighting. So. Uh, go check that out. Hi, guys. More and more people are coming on here. There's Megan and Kyle. Good to have you guys with us today. Um, a little bit later, you guys, you're going to get kind of a laugh. I, I am coming out of my comfort zone just a little bit today. Um, so stay tuned for that because it, it's going to be quite comical. I am, I am assuring you right now. So my name is Jessica Wanasek. I am the event director here at the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. We are, uh, today is hump day in our third week of Longmont is open. These are our daily Facebook live events um, that we are doing to help our businesses out there and to show uh, the public how you guys can support these businesses. So this is why we're doing this. Um, today is Wednesday We Shop, uh, where we showcase um, a local retailer in the Longmont area. So with that, um, I am going to introduce my special guest star today. Um, if you guys have questions for her, um, put those in the comments as well as we get going through our stream and we'll uh, hopefully get to those um, as well. So with that, I am going to introduce my very special guest. Uh, her name is Courtney Michelle. Hi, Courtney. Hi. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday We Shop. Oh, I'm so excited <laughs> to be here. It's so fun. <laughs> right? Um, so Courtney Michelle is the owner of Coco Michelle Salon and Spa in Longmont, correct? Correct. Yay. So um, I like to start my uh, live streams with a lot of people probably know who you are and what you do, but um, tell us a little bit about the salon. Um, how long has uh, the salon and spa been open? 
I, we have been in business for 15 years. We're a small boutique salon, just two chairs right now. Um, and uh, I've been in two locations in Longmont and been with the chamber for a, a long time and gotten a lot of support from the chamber. And I've always wanted to do hair ever since I was a kid, actually. I did everybody's hair for prom in high school and makeup, and it just came really naturally and easily to me. And uh, But I didn't follow that path right away. I went to school, got a degree in linguistics, traveled, uh, worked in high tech for a long time. And then when I moved to Colorado in 2000, I worked at Sun Microsystems down in Broomfield. And I got laid off in 2004 after surviving five layoffs. And oh. I had a little time to figure out what I wanted to do. So I said, I'm going to go back to beauty school and get my license. So at 31, I went back to school, got my license. I'm 48 now, just turned 48 a couple weeks ago. Oh, happy birthday. Pandemic. <laughs> and uh, love what I do. I have never had a job this long in my life. And uh, like I said, been doing hair 15 years. I do waxing. Uh, we do massage. When we can get back to it, we do facials as well. But right now, we're not allowed to do that. Rules are strange in this time. Right. <laughs> but, um, love dealing with clients, making people, everybody, men, women, children, feel beautiful, feel happy. This is one of the, in the service industry, there's usually a problem that you're going to fix. But people really look forward to coming to get their hair done. And they're really excited mm -hmm. that we're going to open soon again. And everybody leaves feeling beautiful, and that just makes my day every single day. Well, you know, they say if you if you feel and you, you look your best, you feel your best, and so you you are helping so everybody true. So look true. and feel their best, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I'm just reading some of the comments here. Uh, Karen says, "Hi, Courtney, looking lovely as always. The only woman to keep her hair totally in check." <laughs> <in quarantine. laughs> I actually haven't colored yet. You know, I'm a little, oh. but um. I'm waiting for my clients uh, to color my own hair, but I don't have, luckily I don't have too much gray at the very front. So, yeah. Oh, I, I can feel you. I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> everybody's thrown out. Everybody's highlights are looking a little drab. And just like that, all the blondes disappeared. <laughs> we all go. Right. Here's our natural color. We right? all see it now. Yeah. You know, two the months of growth here at least. <laughs> the great reveal. Right. Uh, is, Patty West says, Courtney, no jammies today. You look great. Patty is one of my longtime clients. Patty, I'm going to get you in next week. Okay, honey? So, you know, Aww. it's going to happen. Patty comes uh, on a very regular basis. She's missed at least two or three haircuts, and she is feeling very shaggy right now. So I'm going to get you in soon, hon. <laughs> and Kathy Stevens says, so nice to see you, Courtney. Oh, I miss Kathy. Yeah. Right? And Kyle. I'm sorry, we have a little delay. Kyle Neely says, hi, Courtney. I live near your shop. So it's kind of neat to see everybody jumping on here. Teresa McPhail says, I haven't felt beautiful since March 16th. So um, <laughs> she wants to adopt hats instead of the masks. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice. But you know, we can have matching, maybe. Bandanas and masks is what I'm looking forward to. Uh, right. My mom has been making masks, and I'm selling them on my website. And uh, I'm thinking about doing some sort of matching thing too, because this is going to be with us for a little while. So let's make it a fashion statement. You know? I love it. I love it. When you go well, out, you want to feel beautiful in your mask too. No kidding. Right. Well, um, that kind of brings me into what is um, the best way for the viewers watching uh, to contact you? I think the website is the best way right now. We, um, when we all salons got shut down on March 19th in the state of Colorado, and I scrambled the next day to start figuring out how to stay in business uh, when I couldn't do any service. So I got a gift certificate site going and then I got an e-commerce site going. So almost everything we sell, we have a few more things that we need to add on there, uh, are on our website at cocomichelle.com and there's a products link. And you can order online, we have porch pickup, we're also doing delivery a couple times a week. And one of our product lines does free drop ship through the end of the month. So you can pay through us and I ship it straight to your house. You get it within like two days on the Sanitas oh, product. Very cool. Very cool. Um, let's see who else. Let's see. Megan Collins says, so nice to meet you, Courtney. Do you do weddings? Uh, I don't do too many weddings. I have a lot of regular clients. So I do weddings for my regular clients. Or if you want a wedding from me, it's really good to book out about six months in advance for a Saturday morning because that's oh, usually where weddings are. And uh, to get that early morning slot because you need to eat your breakfast and 
care of yourself. Pardon? And then everybody usually needs to arrive about nine o'clock because they get ready for pictures and then the ceremony. So yes, yeah. I do, but you need to plan ahead. Good to know. Good to know. And then the last comment before I um, have one more question for you is um, to Julie and is it Baedler? I hope I said that right. Uh, she says, hey, ladies. So it's so nice to see Hi, some new names in our comments today, you guys. So come on in and have a seat. Um, comment. We're going to have towards the end of the stream. Um, Courtney is actually going to help me with um, today's daily giveaway. So you're going to want to listen carefully. You're going to want to uh, take part in the little contest. She's got a really cool prize that she's donating today. So um, I know, Courtney, that you said you're currently closed. And um, you, I know you're looking to reopen here gradually soon. Um, but And you are booked to the hilt, girl, with your regular. I, yes, I am. I have a wonderful oh. clientele. In the future, I'm looking to expand the salon. But right now, I put those plans on halt because of the pandemic. It's a little hard to predict how business will be in the future. But um, I'm, I'm really busy. Uh, before the pandemic, I had an assistant. I could actually use two so that I could do two or three clients at a time. But right now we have to do only one client at a time till we figure out how all this works and we have to do a lot of extra sanitation. So uh, yep. please be patient, all my clients. I'm gonna get you in and then hopefully in a few months we'll be able to uh, add some more clients to our book. And we do do massage. I have a, a massage therapist and she has more availability than I do. So if you need to work out those kinks because- we Sign me up. <laughs> Cooped up for two months and sore and tired and not sleeping and freaking yeah. out, then yeah. uh, book a massage. We usually do okay. online booking, but uh, okay. send us an email, give us a call. There's a uh, info sheet on our website, and we'll get back in touch with you and get you on the table to get the kinks worked out. Well, I was going to say, sign me up because I feel like I've had the the weight of the world a little bit on my shoulders and. Right. Ah, uh, well, I, I need a massage. Oh, it's been Great. so difficult. This time has been so crazy. I mean, never in yeah. our lifetime or even our grandparents have we known right? something like this to happen. So Great. it's really well, uh, new okay. new waters to navigate. No kidding. So today, um, because you're so booked out, I want to actually focus on some of um, the products that you have. So yeah. I know um, I'm going to shrink myself down and I'm going to let you kind of talk a little bit about some of your products. And okay. then from there... Um, we're going to do um, a fun demo, or maybe two demos. I'm not sure, but yeah. yes. <laughs> um, and, and one of them, I'm, I'm dying. So okay. <laughs> well, okay. well, it'll be quite comical, but I'm going to turn it over to you. So you take it away. Great. Okay. The first demo I wanted to do is about an easy way to get your hair looking decent without having to wash it and dry it and blow it all out. Because, you know, during the time of pandemic, we're not doing much to ourselves. We're not doing as much self-care. But then you might have to get on a Zoom meeting or something like that. And you're like, oh, my God, I don't have to do all this thing. So I washed my hair on Monday. This is kind of flat for me because I have kind of wavy hair and it's usually poofier. So I want to show you just a like a three minute quick fix of how to get your hair refreshed so that it feels nice uh, and you look good without having to go through the whole thing of blowing it dry. So okay. first, I'm going to start with a spray called Remedy. Uh, well, there we go. Let's see. Whoop, turn it around. So this is an AG line. It's a line from Canada. It's a small business. They have about 100 employees, and they do everything from uh, development of the product to packaging it. So nothing is outsourced. And all, this is their natural line, and it's 98% naturally derived ingredients. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has an apple cider vinegar base. And all the smells are natural, like uh, essential oils and that kind of thing. So okay. this is a great way to get your hair wet without too much conditioning. And then you can re-dry it a little bit. So, you know, you wake up, see my little sprouts there? Yep. Everybody wakes up with like that. <laughs> and you're like, okay, you can see that walking around town. You're like, oh, yeah, she just got out of bed. Or he did, and here he went out. He didn't even look at that. So a little you know, bed. So what you can do is you take the remedy, you spray it just along the hairline and rub it in and then take your hair dryer and dry it. You did certainly get a few spaces. It dries pretty quick. So. Well, your hair looks fabulous already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> then we're going to take another part of the natural line. It's called dry lift. And this is like dry shampoo in a, in a two, in a little container. Okay. So if you know, dry shampoo is sometimes hard to manage for people because they get too much or it gets a little gray. It has a weird color. So this is volcanic ash uh, mixed in with clay. And so it's also great for uh, reducing the oil. So you take a little bit out, you rub it on these fingers, just like that. You don't need to put it all over your hands, just there. And then you rub that in the scalp, right along the part. Oh. And you rub it pretty vigorously, like, you know, and you can rub it all throughout the top. And this is good for short hair or long hair. And what yeah. that clay does in that volcanic ash, it's going to absorb oil so that if you are on day two or three, you don't, it uh, takes away the greasy look. And it will also give you a little grit so you get some lift. So look at that already, just those two things. So then I'm gonna take one more product. It's called Tassel Texture, also by AG in their texture line. And this one is 96% naturally derived ingredients. So it's a spray, it has a little shine. It has a sister called Dry Wax that's a little more matte and has a little more hold. So this is great for maybe shorter hair, but longer hair, you take it and you kind of lift the ends, give it a little spray. You know, lift it up and move your arm back and forth. And then you've got some nice hair and then you want to tame it down a little bit, right? Oh, fantastic. I'm dying at the comments right now, Courtney, while you're working in this. Because I'm doing this. Oh, someone no. thinks it's disgusting. Okay. But, okay. <laughs> you, you, you said you showered on Monday, and Karen says, well, what about showering from Friday? And then well, it's. No, I'm not saying showering. I shower every day, but I don't necessarily <laughs> wash my hair every day. So that is a good point. Yeah. So you want to shower every day. You know, you don't want to be, I mean, you want to smell yourself, even if you're stuck at home with Zoom. So I do shower every day, but uh, I don't want to wash my hair every day so that, uh, you know, it doesn't get too dried out. And I preserve the color. So if you color your hair. Oh, big, good point. The biggest issue with hair fading with color is that you wash it. And because it's hot water, you're using shampoo, conditioner. So I really only wash my hair about twice a week. Okay. But I take it for every day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we'll so get it. This gives you a nice, you know, refresh without having to redo it and dry it. Uh, and, and that took you how many minutes? Like three minutes, maybe, right? Yeah, I mean, it didn't take you yeah, long at all. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. I and love it. Texture, and, you know, you can refresh your style a little bit. And then, you know, you got a little more volume up there. So that's really fun. So, Jennifer, in the comments, she says, day three, I'm on day 47. Right. So, you guys are cracking me up in the comments right now. Oh my goodness. Um, somebody said, or Kathy Stevens said something about check out your hair on your um, website. Your, your hair is fabulous on your website. Oh, thank you. Yes. I like to do fun colors and I like to do, I have done everything to my hair, uh, including uh, platinum blonde, pixie short to down to my waist, dark, I've also shaved my head a couple of years ago. Oh, we did with the chamber assisting. We did a, a hair for hunger event, and then we did a hair for hounds event. And in that one, I actually shaved my own head, and I raised more money than Mayor Coons at the time. Oh so my goodness! Head. I think I raised over three thousand uh, dollars, and we raised almost twenty together for the Longmont Humane Society for shaving heads. Like Brian Bagley got his head shaved. He was on council at that time. Mayor Coons got his head shaved, several other people, and there were two women, one who worked at the uh, Humane Society and me. So shaved it down to nothing. And uh, we did it in November, and it was a little chilly. So oh, if I ever did it again, which I'm, I've been growing my hair out ever since. That was about four years ago. And oh. uh, yeah. So Very and cool. people are asking, Teresa's asking about, yeah, these are AG hair products. Yeah. And they want to know what the products that you just did, the the three products or two products that you had in there and I'll type them in the comments here so everybody can okay, see. The first one is the remedy and it's in their natural line, 98% naturally derived ingredients. And okay. it is a, uh, I call it a hair tonic because it's great for the scalp. It has apple cider vinegar. 
It is a low pH, so your hair and your skin really thrives in a, a acidic pH between 4.5 and 5.5. Now, a lot of shampoos and stuff you find at the grocery store will say pH balanced, but that really doesn't have a definition. So okay. the, the pH is listed on a lot of remedy products, and it is at about a pH of a five. So that's gonna help keep your scalp healthy. It's gonna help tighten the cuticle of your hair so that it's nice and shiny because the tighter the cuticle, the shinier the hair is because it can reflect light. Gotcha. So this is an amazing product for uh, after color. I use it a lot after I do a color in the salon, then I put this on after we get back to the chair. Okay, so that was Remedy. What I was next? Remedy from AG in their natural line. Then I dried that in and it just took a minute because I just did the spots that are funny, you know, and then yeah. I did the dry lift, which is like dry shampoo in a, in a little bottle instead of a spray. Easier to manage for some people. I rubbed it between my fingers till it got glossy because it's a little bit matte looking right now. And then I rubbed that in where I put the remedy to give some lift and to absorb the oil. Good. The last product I used is called Tassel Texture. And that's that uh, spray that gives it some definition and texture. So it made it bodiful, created a little texture so that there's PCness looking. That's T O S S L E. Is that how that's spelled? Sorry, tossled. Yeah. Tossled. Mm -hmm. okay. There we go. I just want to make sure I'm going to hold it on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> exactly what it gives you. Tossled texture. Like, woo! That's awesome. So I typed those in the comments, you guys, for those of you asking for what um, she just did on her, her hair to make her hair fabulous. Um, let's see. I'm going to put them on the featured products on the, my product page this afternoon. So it'll be at the top. Okay. Awesome. The awesome. Featured product list. Yay. Well, that was fun. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Oh, Kathy yeah. Stevens helps yep. with dry curly hair then. Uh, it'll make it a little curlier. There is actually um, a brand new product AG came out with. This would be great for you, Kathy. It's called Slip. It's a dry spray oil. So curly headed people like, if y'all know Kathy Stevens, she's got curly hair. It's like, yeah. Ooh. and so curly hair gets really dry because, oh, let me hold it up again. Slip. Yeah. <laughs> Slip. Cool. So um, curly hair gets dry because it's flat as a, Straight hair is round microscopically and curly hair is flat. It's like a, like a fettuccine. So it has a lot more surface area and it has bends in it. So a lot of the natural moisture that uh, straight hair can retain gets lost in curly hair. So curly hair, especially in Colorado is very dry. So a, an leave-in oil or a dry spray oil is fabulous for dry curly hair. Well, that's good to know. I just learned something new about Curly hair and straight hair. That's awesome. All right. Um, they're they're chatting back and forth. That you guys are cracking me up. Okay, so oh, there's a question from Jennifer. Is tossled like a sea salt spray? So uh, sea salt tossled texture is like a very light sea salt spray. So sea salt is going to give you a lot of texture because it actually has that salt in it, and it's going to give you that beachy look. So if if you have trouble with sea salt being a little too much then tassel texture is a lighter version of that and an easy spray in because sea salt's more liquidy when it comes out. And so this one I think is a lot easier to apply if you're like, I don't know how to do my hair very well. And you leave the salon and that's the best your hair looks until you go back because a lot of people are like, I can't replicate what you do. I'm like, that's great. It means I'm doing my job well, but I also want to teach right. you how to do it at home. And so um, sea spray, on dry hair would be really crunchy. On wet hair, you're gonna get more of that tousled look, so you'd have to dry it all in. So tousled texture like skips that step. Gotcha, very cool. All right, well you guys keep the comments coming, that's great. And while you are doing that, if you have any other questions, um, Courtney is actually going to do um, another demo, right? Yes, I okay. am. So um, the unfortunate thing about doing skincare in, uh, during the pandemic is that we are not allowed to do facials or waxing anywhere where a mask is going to cover. So we can't do nostril waxing. We can't do lip waxing. We can't do chin waxing. That's a lot of my business actually. And a lot of people, especially when you get into menopausal women, 
we get mustachy hair and it gets coarse and prickly. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God, I don't want to feel like I have a mustache. What's happening? So, you know, a lot of people are probably shaving right now, but here's a solution. Now, it doesn't feel, waxing is a little painful, right? It's like a slap and a sting, like removing a band aid, and then it's over. So the thing I'm going to show you is not as gentle. However, ah! you do it yourself. And this is an ancient technique. It's called threading. It started in the Middle East and also in India where they do mostly threading. And so it's something you can do on yourself. You can do it sitting on the couch. You want to make sure your skin is clean. And so what I'm going to do, and sorry, I didn't tell you this stuff. I'm going to wipe off part of my lip with a, a Sunita's product called Beta Clarifying Solution. And that's what I use in my salon when I do waxing because it has uh, – Salicylic, it has a little bit of tiny bit of salicylic acid in it, which helps uh, is antibacterial. So I'm going to clean the right side of my lip here because I want to get off the. I did put on makeup for the first time in like. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to clean that off. So you want to maybe wash your face first, uh, make sure it's clean. So I'm going to just clean that part. I'm going to put my lip in there. Mm. Get that all clean. I'm going to do it underneath too because I have you know tiny little Fu Manchu. Here. So, yeah, I'm going to clean that. And then what I'm going to do is take a piece of a spool of thread. Now, you want it to be like the 100% cotton thread. So, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to measure it to be about from my fingers to my shoulder. So, I have really long arms, but um, that's about the length of the, of the thread that you want. And then you want to clip that off. So you're gonna take your piece of thread and you're gonna hold it in both hands and you got the two ends here, right? So you're gonna put those two ends together, hold them like that and you have a little, the loop of it. Take the ends, wrap them around your finger once and then twist with your thumb to the end of your finger and uh -huh. then slide your finger off and you have a knot. Let me know if I need to do it again, Jessica. Well, I think I got it actually. And then you have a loop. Okay, yep. Okay, so you wanna put your right hand finger or one of your fingers on the knot because you want the knot to be at the edge. So my knot is over here. Okay. And then you're going to twist it about at least seven times. So twist, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that you have like a little cat's cradle thing here. And you wanna put two or three fingers and the thumb inside of it. <laughs> you have to be coordinated for this, hello. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little practice. But, you know, ladies, uh, practice on your leg first. If you don't wanna worry about, you know, if you wanna practice threading, I would practice on your leg first where you have some hair. You need at least a quarter inch of hair. So it, it's a lot easier to like see it on your leg. That's how oh, I learned it myself. Me. Now you tell me this, Courtney. <laughs> I, I didn't do enough practice yesterday. Okay. Um, and so the reason I learned how to do this was because there are some ladies who use a lot of uh, Retin-A or do chemical peels and you can't do waxing uh, within the same time frame as that. And so uh -huh. is, there's no uh, this is a physical thing only. There's no exfoliation of the skin, only the hair removal. So on the lip, what we're going to do, I'm going to get my hair out of the way here. Okay, so we have our loop, and we're going to, like, practice this first. You're going to open the loop with one hand and then open the loop with the other. And that slides the little accordion thing one way or the other. And if you're right-handed, you're going to do a lot more right-handed opening and closing. You can feel the little... Uh, the middle moving around. Yeah. Okay, so if you're doing your own lip, you're gonna put your tongue in there. You want the skin to be taut. When I'm doing it on another client, I have her pull her face like that, but you can't do that on yourself. So you wanna go like that, so that you make the skin <laughs> really tight. Because if the skin is loose, you can pinch it, okay? Oh, okay. And try this. So open with the left hand so that the little the little connected area is closest to your right hand. Okay. 
and then put your tongue at the corner of your lips and then open this hand. Oh. <laughs> Did you feel I'm I'm Oops, guessing for my string. You should feel <laughs> the hairs getting pulled out. Let me get another string. <laughs> I don't know if I twisted it enough. Let's see. Is this going to make me cry? Like, am I going to tear up and be like, <laughs> I can't you might. Do it. you might, probably not, but it's just going to be a little, uh, yeah, let me get another string going here. Sorry about that. Okay. I so felt that. I did another little show people that I put the two edges of the thread together. I pinched it. I twisted it once around my finger, then rolled it off the edge of the finger. To make that knot. Okay, oh, Kathy's running with us. She said, "Ow, it works!" Yeah, it does, <laughs> right, in. Kathy? It's like getting the knot over oh. here, twisting at least seven times to create that little space. So, okay. Then I'm gonna try oh. the underneath. So stick the tongue down there too. Woo, oh, mackerel. Who came up with this idea? <laughs> uh, you know, the Middle Eastern and Indian ladies years ago. So because they didn't invent wax until fairly recently mm -hmm. in the history of beauty. Wow. So this has been a, an old technique. So. <laughs> Jennifer says, what could go wrong? A lot, Jennifer. Oh. <laughs> well, that's why you want to have the skin tight. So did you get some? I Jennifer? did. I got like, right. Apparently yeah. I have some hairs right there. You can also, yeah, if you do the middle, it's good to do like this. Woo! Right? And then you want to slide back to the other side. Yep. Oh, that's not my lipstick now. That's why it's good to have clean skin, Ooh. you know, I'm makeup for this, but yeah. <laughs> Kathy says, I'm dying of laughter here. <laughs> And it does beat the snot out of tweezing. Tweezing is a pain, a tootie, and it hurts because you have to do uh, one at a time. So this gets like a whole row. So it really yeah. helps to do it in the mirror. You know, we're doing it by feel here. Yeah. So I'm trying to follow you. Wash your face, do it in the mirror, and make your skin tight. Whether it's like, uh, 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 <laughs> that, that. Make it Make mm -hmm. it tight because it needs to be really taut so you don't pinch your skin. Mm. But that's Good a way point. since nobody can get lip waxing. And if any salon in Colorado tells you they can do your lip waxing, don't go there, y'all, because it it's not currently legal in the state of Colorado because we're not supposed to be touching this area where any of the virus can be, you know, shedding. So you have to wear your mask inside of a salon the entire time. We have to wear a mask. We, I'm going to wear a face shield. I'm going to wear a cover that I change between every client. So um, I would not try. Uh, I would not try this on your own eyebrows. Oh no. my god, that was my next question. Don't was um, do it. No. I don't think I can handle that. Don't Crazy. You, because you can act. It's easy to accidentally take some away. So here's another waxing tip I give to every of my clients. What what are what do eyebrows and bikinis have in common? Anybody know? Hair. <laughs> so there's hair that you want to leave behind unless you're getting a Brazilian. So mm -hmm. on every other part of the body, legs, mm -hmm. underarms, lips, chin, you know, backs on guys, chests, uh, you want to get rid of it all. But on bikinis, you usually yeah. leave a little triangle. And then on eyebrows, you leave a nice arch. So uh, I would not try threading on your eyebrows at home because you could accidentally take off the whole thing. And Mine then you're <laughs> not happy. Yeah, I right. would be a, like a one-eyed pirate. I'd have to wear like a right. mask. Not be good. So lips no. and chin, sure. You know, you can do it along the chin line. Yeah, I feel like I got slapped on my top lip. I mean, it, you can really feel it working. It does, and it's it'll be sure. a little hot and red. You know, yeah. you can do it all here. I mean, you just want to, oh, yeah, there's some hair. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, People are saying, spring again. So um, the great, the one thing to remember though, you want to keep your skin clean after that. You don't want to touch your skin a lot. These are the dirtiest little things on our bodies. And that's why they're 
really big into washing hands right now all the time because we transmit everything from our hands to our face. Yes. That's what's great about a mask too, is helping us not touch our own face. So after you do the threading, you wanna rinse again, you wanna protect it with like a, a nice uh, soothing um, moisturizer and leave your lip alone. If it itches, don't scratch it. You can tap it a little bit with your back of your knuckle or with a tissue. But uh, the the issue could be that you get a little folliculitis, which is the little white bumps, which some people get anyway after okay. threading. So yeah. just take care of your skin. Do it when it's clean. Keep it clean afterwards. Like it's nice to do it at night. Put on your rest of your moisturizer. Go to bed. Yeah. Nice. So when I'm mm -hmm. sitting in bed doing this next to my husband, <laughs> right? A lot of people just sit in front of the TV, you know, threading their lip. <laughs> <laughs> Mike might be like, oh, what the heck are you doing over there? You're like, I'm getting rid of my my, my mustache. Right? Taking care yeah. of my feet. Right. Oh, my God. That was awesome. And the, you guys in the comments, Courtney, you're going to have to go back and look I at know, all the <laughs> They're dying. Some of them are saying that this is better than Netflix when we have this. Some of them are recording this for later. Um, one person suggested that we needed wine while doing this. So yeah, happy hour thread yourself. Why not? <laughs> There's a night of entertainment right there. Just do some threading and some drinking of your wine. It'd be great. Oh, CJ, I know her. Oh, I got some friends showing up. Yay. Yay. Good to see you guys. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to, you know, if you're sensitive to waxing, this is a great alternative. Right? So. And right now, when we can't, you can't get your lip or chin professionally done. This is a good option. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Okay, so I'm going to bring us back to here. So I okay. feel, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this is needed. <laughs> you didn't make this a little bleed with you. You need a little out. I don't think I'm bleeding, but man, that one, that one packed a wallop. <laughs> it might have been an early nice thick coarse hair. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or you knew. <laughs> Look at it made me tear up too. I'm like totally crying. That was said, it hurts a little more than waxing. It does. However, <laughs> there are people oh. who are allergic to wax, or like I said, right now you can't get it done professionally in the entire state of Colorado, or hopefully anywhere. I don't know about the rest of the U.S. because each state is regulated separately. But right now we can't do that service in the salon. Right. And uh, so this is. I thought this would be nice to share for people who want to get rid of that lip hair, that chin no. hair, that little mustard. This has been great because I have friends who who have gone to do like threading of their their eyebrows and stuff. And so this was kind of fun to do because I thought if I, you know, kind of want to see it up and close and personal, I know that our viewers would get a kick out of it too. So good, uh, good. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, so we have a little giveaway. Um, do you want to share what today's giveaway is, Courtney? Yes, I do. So it's a nice little Sanitas package. I want to tell you a little bit about Sanitas. It's a company that makes product here in Colorado, right down the road in Louisville. And they've been, I've been using them ever since I've been open or when it's in beauty school. Their products are amazing. Uh, they are all natural. There is no extra anything in there. If a lot of it doesn't have a smell because they don't add fragrance unless the product actually has a fragrance like, um, they have a lemon cream cleanser that's very popular. It smells like lemons because it has lemon oil in it. So the little pack, this is called an Age Well Kit, and it has three products in it. It's got a glycolic citrus cleanser, which is uh, good for exfoliating the skin. Remember I talked about acid. It has a lower acid base, so it really uh, cleans the skin well and drops the pH of the skin. The skin is very happy when it's slightly acidic. And then it has a peptiderm moisturizing cream in it, this stuff is amazing. They have a peptiderm line. So has anybody heard of peptides? Those mm -hmm. are the newest buzzword, but Sanitas has been doing them for at least 10 years. And what peptides are is they are the uh, protein. They allow the protein chain of collagen and elastin to be formed in the skin. So they're in all kinds of products right now, but they're great for your skin. They're great for your hair. And this is their anti-aging or age-defying moisturizer. Then they have a Vita C serum, and this has 30% vitamin C. It is the highest concentrate of vitamin C on the market that I know of right now. And it's like a, a, a slightly oily serum that just absorbs right into your skin like, oh, it's amazing. So you would do a cleanse first 
a little drop or two of serum. Their stuff is highly concentrated. So all you need is a drop or two and then a tiny half pea size of this as a moisturizer all over your face. So it gives you a nice taste of what Sanitas uh, has to offer. And like I said, they're a local Colorado company. They have a drop ship program right now. So we, you can uh, free shipping until the end of May. And um, after that, it will be just a, a nominal amount, but you can buy it through Coco Michelle and I ship it to you. If I get the order in before noon, you'll get it the next day. But it's amazing. Their products are amazing. I've been using them for 15 years. Like I said, I turned 48 three weeks ago and nobody believes that I'm 48 years old because I've been using this stuff. They have serums, they have cleansers, they have uh, they, their milk and honey cleanser uses natural like uh, Colorado honey. I mean, it's just Very cool. amazing product. I love it. And uh, that's right. We use our face. When we're able to do facials again, you can come get a Sanitas facial. Right? Right? <laughs> I know. Sign me up. I'm learning so much through all these lives. It's pretty cool. I'm like, I have, I have something that I need to, as soon as quarantine's done, I'm going to get a massage. I'm going to go get my hair done by you. I need a facial. Right. I have a whole list of, of things that I need to get done now. Right. We so. haven't done a lot of self-care during this quarantine because we haven't been able to, and we don't know, we can't do some of these things ourselves. Right. So, um, you know, it's nice to, you know, get a few nice skin products and uh, treat yourself to a little at-home facial. I have some videos on my Instagram account, Coco Michelle Salon Spa, where uh, I filmed myself from the, my claw foot tub, giving myself a little mask and facial in the tub and share it with you on Instagram. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's entertainment for you too. Right? Right. It has to be entertaining. Okay. So now it is um, daily giveaway time. So we're going to give away our prize. And All I've right. normally um, been asking like a question to our audience and, and they have to um, be the first one to put it in the comments to win. So um, I think I'm going to say, because we talked about it quite a bit um, towards the beginning of um, our stream. And so I think the question to you guys out there watching is what is the product line that she demoed earlier today? What, what is the, it's a two letter product product line the name of it what did she what did courtney do on her hair to give it a, a little quick update what is that product line ready set go and the first person who gets that in the the comments there courtney will be our today's okay. winner <clears throat> yesterday we had two people come in right after each other which was pretty hilarious Oh, some of the comments are so. Oh, it looks like oh, no, Kyle, but not quite. <laughs> oh, it looks like Teresa is the next oh. one that came in. Right? We had oh. Kyle was close. Kyle was close, but then he did it again. Let's see what the timestamp is on. Okay, you you can see that I can't. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, Teresa McPhail came in right after Kyle put the A H. So she came in and said, AG. <clears throat> I know there's like a weird little, let's double check this. Hold, please. <laughs> hey. yeah, it like on the on the phone live, it, it is, it looks like Teresa McPhail came in with uh, the correct answer of AG, just a hair before Kyle fixed it. So, oh, yeah. Kyle, bummer. You know what Kyle <laughs> Congrats, Teresa, for being our today's winner. Very Woo. good. Kyle, next time you're going to have to tune in tomorrow because each day on these videos, we give away something fun. So, um, you know that G and that are right next to each other on the keyboard. Oh, I know. They're probably, probably a, finger, typing, a finger move, right? Frantically typing, trying to win that. Oh, well, we have had a blast. I feel like we've been on here for almost, what, 40 minutes or something. Oh, it doesn't yeah. feel like that, but this has been. So much fun today. Great. Um, I've had a great so, time. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And Courtney, I want to, you know, a big shout out to you guys, the crew over there at Coco Michelle Salon and Spa. You Woo! guys keep up the hard work and we hope to, you know, be able to walk in there soon one of these days. I hope so too. Check out my website. Um, if you get me contact information for Teresa, I will put it on my pork pickup and I will contact her or direct message her on absolutely. Facebook. And she can come pick it up anytime. Okay, okay. Teresa, if you're hearing that, otherwise, um, Courtney, I will definitely get her info and uh, send it over to you as well. So with that, Great. big hugs and kisses. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of the, the fabulous oh. questions today. <laughs>
And we'll and be happy to also, if anybody wants a phone consultation about their particular skin or hair issues, I would be happy to do that and then set you up with products that are going to work for you. I have very good, I have very few returns. And so that means I, I recommend products that work for people. And uh, so if anybody wants to talk about their own hair or skin needs, I would be happy to do that. And that's a great thing we can do during the closure or the slow times right now. And yeah. then we can we can discuss it over the phone and then you can come pick it up. Courtney, what's your phone number really quick before I, we sign off? It is 303-485-5700. Okay, so it is in the comments for you guys. And everybody say goodbye to Courtney. Courtney, thank you so much for- Thank you so much. Today. How can we tell uh, Julie what the Instagram is? Coco yep. Michelle Salon Spa, all one word. Coco Michelle Salon Spa, all one word. Spa, all, one word, all yeah. together. Yeah. Go check her out. Give her a call and swing by. She, her gorgeous face is on her website, so go <laughs> check that out as well. So much love Thank to you, you Courtney. Much. Everybody, we'll stay you. safe and healthy. Wear your masks. We're also making some of those, so yep. you can see them on our website. Like super cute, yeah. cool, pretty colors, like. Oh, that one's cool. I like that one. I'll make them here in house, quilt quality fabric, great stuff. Yeah. Nice. All right. We are Thank you very much. Time. Time. Absolutely. We love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she was, uh, that was so much fun. And it really didn't hurt as bad. It, it just, you know, kind of pops a little bit, but um, it's good. I've always been curious to know what the threading is all about. And um, we really appreciate all of you guys tuning in with us today. It was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> see her over at uh, CocoMichelle.com. The Instagram uh, address is in the comments as, long, as well as her phone number. So if you need to get a hold of her, she has some amazing products over there. Um, so go check that stuff out. Tomorrow, tune in again right here on our Facebook page at 4 p.m. Um, I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about it, but just to give you a hint, there may or may not be uh, animals involved. So come back here tomorrow. There'll be another chance for you guys to uh, win another giveaway. Um, until then, be well. Visit us at our chamber website. It's longmontchamber.org. And you can see the list of businesses at uh, the forward slash Longmont is open. So go check that out. From me to you, be well. And I'm giving you guys virtual chamber hugs. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs>